Hello and welcome to the Half-Ass Homestead. My name is Angie and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how nothing goes as planned when you're homesteading, especially on a budget. Every homesteader's experience is gonna be greatly different than the next. That's why I'm going to give you a look into what a standard, monotonous, and failure-filled week looks like on our homestead. I started this fine morning by cleaning out and replacing all of the bedding in the chicken coop, especially getting new straw into the nesting boxes so we can keep nice clean eggs. And I just throw everything haphazardly. The girls will decorate how they so choose, which is fine because that's less work for me. Went to feed up the girls and realized that this bucket of feed's empty, so I had to go get a new one. We're always so busy on the homestead that some of these little oddball tasks like weeding the elderberries sometimes gets away from me and it shows. Fun fact that I learned this year is that deer like to munch on elderflower, so we won't be getting any berries off of these shrubs this year. Fun fact, I am consistently losing my drink. These boxes have been sitting right inside the back door for literally a week now. All right, now this is my next project to take care of. I have these two carboys. They're one gallon carboys. I got these off Marketplace. I'm currently looking for a couple of six gallon carboys. Um, because I am looking into getting into winemaking. Uh, so, the other thing I gotta take care of are these canning jars. Um, my awesome friend Katie, I work, brought these in for me. Um, they were no longer of use to the person that had them. So she brought them for me to use. Um, which, I'm sure you're watching this. Thanks, Katie. I appreciate it, because uh, we're gonna give these a good home. And now let me tell you, she even wrapped them all. Ah, look at that. These are like, I, these are like the asparagus canning jars. Okay, this is perfect for asparagus. I love these. Okay, here's, okay, so I got a jar like this like two years ago. This is in great shape. Probably two years ago to rummage sale. I just had to have it because of the pattern on it. This is so cool. This thing is an awesome shape. Mine's actually kind of yellowed. These work for the canned venison. I think everything's going fine, but it's not. So today I'm supposed to be picking up some stuff from Kiel, which is like an hour away from here. It is a bunch of natural foundation for a killer price and some top boards for the beehives. And just like the Jeep here, my car now has a flat tire. Fantastic, so I got the truck behind it because that's what I'm gonna drive today at 16 miles to the gallon. So I'm hoping I have enough time before I need to leave for this excursion to get the tire off the car gets better. I need to bring the bike out to get the jack on. So now she's going to be full of water spots. I suppose this is where I should be glad that my $700 rear tire didn't get a flat tire. So, I mean, there's that.
I'm gonna take this to the shop, see if they can fix it. Um, I'm gonna highly doubt it because that's just my luck. I'm just happy that this tire is only flat on the bottom. That might be a little bit of an inside joke. They were able to fix it. I do not have time to put it back on. Although, you know what? Maybe we're gonna do that because I can get 24 miles per gallon instead of 16. Let's raise the clock. I got 15 minutes. And we're back with enough time to clean this mess up. Gonna get all these jars straightened out into flats and brought down into the basement. And then going to sort out all of the rings. She is irritating, but I just love her so much. This is what happens when people don't pay attention in construction zones. On the bright side, nobody ran over any workers today. I just got back from picking up um, a full car of bee boxes. We got them deeps for five dollars full of frames per deep. So. I got 16 boxes and then I also got eight bottom boards for $5 a piece. Um, unfortunately, not everything fit into her car, so we have to meet up again tomorrow, which is not ideal, but I'll take it. Um, so we have 16 boxes. Everything was really good until I almost died on the highway. Um, somebody got into a little fender bender and then the whole highway stopped really quick so yeah now hopefully I can get to the homestead and we can start on our other projects yay pretty good there were a small handful that left something to be desired so uh, is this their initials or did they get these from somebody else? That's her dad's initials. Her dad had a hundred knives. Got the first double yoker I have seen in years, uh, which doesn't matter. Roger got very sick. We treated him with ivermectin as a Hail Mary, and he's fine now, but we can't eat any of the eggs. Ooh, that hurts. So here we got a classic case of everything not working, just being everything being the tractor, and true half-ass fashion. The original fuel tank rotted out, so what better situation than the actual better way to remedy that is to strap another fuel tank on top of it, classic one that won't rot, but on the downside it also gets water in it, so you end up with water and gas, that's not a good combination because things don't run. 
water sinks to the bottom and you just run a bunch of water to your engine. So instead of, you know, draining all the water out, we're just going to keep cranking it and hopefully it goes with a little starting fluid. Cheap Amazon filter. Definitely get what you pay for. See there's a gap on the top. It's tight on the bottom. Look at that. Same thing. Only thing that's filtering is hopes and dreams. On the plus side, they're cheap so you get an ass load of them for not a lot of money. See the gap? The gap stays the same. Look, this one doesn't rattle. <laughs> He ended up draining the tank. Um, there was a lot of water. This is just the last little bit. One thing I shared in the last vlog was the leaf spot or the cedar spot, whatever we've got. Uh, even with the copper treatments, it is wreaking havoc on the orchard. So our pretty little orchard is not doing so hot. Here's a project from Monday that I am now working on on Thursday. This is an East Lake dresser I picked up pretty reasonable on Marketplace. At one point, somebody paid $270 for it, which in my opinion is a little steep considering the refinishing job was subpar, in my opinion. I picked up these porcelain knobs to replace um, the half of the knobs that were actually here. So I think the little inexpensive facelift looks pretty gosh darn nice if i do say so myself what do you think so someone wanted to hatch chicks um about two months ago but they can't have chickens so basically they borrowed our equipment hatched out a bunch of eggs that i sent with them and now we received 13 chicks back um, they kept them much longer than I thought they would have. I would imagine like a week and they'd have brought them back. They actually had, I think, a pretty good experience and realized how much fun chicks are. And even when they're not cute and fluffy anymore. The only reason they sent them back is because they were getting way too big for their brooder. Otherwise, I believe they probably would have kept them even longer. Um, so I hope they had a really good experience doing this. These little guys and gals are just going to have a one night layover at my house and we'll get them out to the homestead tomorrow afternoon. Coincidentally, Andy had to plane some pine boards, so I have some shavings all ready to go for the chicken coop, which is really nice. I haven't had chicks as friendly since I was a small child. I can tell how much time they spent with these guys because they are all so super friendly, whether they were the favorites or not. One thing that I did notice while cleaning the water dish this morning was that there was a stool with a little blood in it, um, which means they have coccidiosis. So I'm gonna be treating the entire flock with Corid. Coccidiosis is an airborne fungus, so it's not anything that anybody did wrong. It's just an environmental factor that you need to be aware of. There are other treatments for coccidiosis, but I find cord to be relatively easy to use. Since I've delivered the unhighlight reel of the week, I figured I'd end the week on a good note. These little guys seem to be settling in quite nicely to their new coop. <laughs>